I have to make a video what's like to like have like twin con ears. They're so cuddly. They always want to play. They are funny, fun birds. They're awesome birds. I just love them. Yeah, you can see how happy she is. CVPs, welcome to my channel. It's a beautiful day to be alive, and I'm right now here with my golden conyers. This is Star, and over there is Sunshine. Sunshine, you want to come over? No, she's right there. I made her a makeshift house right now. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Please smash the subscribe button and give us also a like and comment at the end of the video how you like it. So I just want to give you a quick update regarding my golden corn ears, especially here, this little boy star, he is doing better. So, you know, the last video I did was with them when they were not the vet that was like three weeks ago, two weeks ago. Anyway, um, the vet gave me 17 points. Um, if you watch that video, I can link it up here so you can rewatch it. 17 points to change if you have a plucking bird. Okay, so here's the thing that I've changed ever since. These are the things I have changed ever since they came back from the vet. These are the seven points that I have changed ever since they came back from the vet. As you can see, he's doing so much better. Look at his coat. He stopped plucking. Look at his beautiful, he's yellow, he's growing out. And guys, he molded his tail. Check this out. See these? These are little like his tail feathers that got molted out. So he has molted out his tail feathers. These are little tail feather, tail feather feathers. Um, so he has been molting and he has no tail anymore because guess what? He's, he molted them all out. So now they are growing back. Um, especially here with little sunshine, little sunshine, you want to come down? She has now over seven new tail feathers. She's molting so much faster than Star is. Check this out. Look at these beautiful tail feathers and they're all originals. She had, when I got her, she only had three. Now she has seven. So she molted out four new ones. He's getting new ones too. I'm so excited about it. You can just see right here, they're all spiking out right now. So just with time, he's gonna have his own tail too. He didn't like the highest and tail feather. Anyway, here are the seven um, points that I changed ever since we came back to from the vet. Number one, I'm giving them more vitamins in their water because I've never really done that before, but the vet says it's good. So I got this vitamin and I put every morning vitamins in the water so they can drink vitamins in the water. Then I let them eat table food with us. If we eat together, they get real food with us. And that also, that's number two, they eat table food with us. As the vet says, it's good for them to eat table food, um, just healthy stuff like a lot of veggies and potatoes and meat and number three more protein i'm giving them more protein like chicken chicken has awesome source of protein and they love chicken so i'm giving them more chicken um they also i changed the environment so they are not in the big room they're here in the little room with my birds like just just to like in this little extra room so they are at the day more secluded and not like with the big birds that they don't get predator stress or anything so that really helped his behavior then number five, um, I try not to spend too much time with them, even though they're very cuddly, guys, and they're so cute. <laughs> They're so cuddly. I have to make a video what's like to like have like twin con ears. They're so cuddly. They always want to play. They are funny, fun birds. They're awesome birds. I just love them. Yeah. You can see how happy she is. How beautiful she is. And he has been also doing really, really well. So number six, I limit their stress in their environment. So I don't let them like interact with the other birds. But guess what? He's going after happy. Why? He's go 
going after um, glory. He's going after angel. He has so much stamina. He's going after even love. And I have to really protect them, not to have them get hurt because he doesn't see the risk. He's like sometimes really suicidal. A little suicidal. He just goes after. He doesn't really know the danger. He stands his ground. He really does. And what about you, little sunshine? She's more. She's more calmer. She's not as crazy as he is. Seven. I let them hunt for food. So I don't just give them food. They have to look for their food because that's like the whole thing in the wild. They have to hunt and forage. Number eight. I bought them new toys. So I have right now here also a bag of new toys that we will unpack. You wanna unpack these toys with me? At the end of this video, we're gonna unpack this package. It just came today with Amazon. I got new two toys and they're like, what is that? Get it out of our face. Yeah, it looks scary. It's something big brown looks scary, like a big brown predator, right? Okay, so number nine, the vet also recommend me to loop the video if they are, uh, if I'm not here to loop my YouTube videos. Guys, if you want your birds to um, hear you record some videos or just play my video, I have played List. you can just put it on play and just let them hear other birds that really calms them down and they don't feel so alone if they hear other birds so i'm looping my video on my playlist on my channel and let them just listen to my voice if i'm not here number 10 the vet um told me to separate them but that's the point that i haven't done yet because i don't want to break their hearts and put them next to each other in a cage one that's not possible because um break their heart if they love each other they cuddle with each other they hatch together they grow up together they play together they eat together they poop together they drink together they do everything together and i just don't feel comfortable to um completely separate them so i haven't done that yet but if if he if he is not getting better but he is getting better maybe that's the ever very last option i would consider number 11 i got blood work done with him everything came back fine he's just a little low on calcium many birds are low on calcium calcium is really good for amazons hyacinths conyers um lorikeets so uh, right now i'm cooking them fresh food with lots of calcium in there so i have this jar of calcium that i got a magnolia bird from you can get it also on amazon and i sprinkle some calcium like in their food every morning so they have calcium so number 12 he says we have to look at the poop for infections and diseases and we did the scan nothing it came back all like negative they're not sick they have no parasite in their stool they have no diseases they, they have no yeast infection no nothing they're super healthy just uh, um, stars a little bit low in calcium 13 um also what really helps is the meds that um the vet gave me it's a really weird mat let me let me show you what it is haloperidine i don't know if you can read this haloperidine uh haloperidine is this this haloperidine this is the 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 meds the mood modifier that i gave star so star gets 0 0.1 every evening i gave him once a day that says twice twice a day i just felt like it was too much he was a zombie bird and i just didn't feel comfortable giving him two like this he still himself so basically it's a psych meds a psych meds for for birds and um like they call it mood, mood modifiers, but he's been calmer ever since I gave it to him. Um, when I gave him the prescribed doses, he was like just an empty shell. He was just a zombie, just doing nothing and just eating. And that was just no fun. I don't want a bird that is a zombie bird, just an empty shell. I want his personality. I want him to have fun, right? I want him to be totally aware and there. So um, basically, yeah, he got mood modifier that really helped him to stop plucking um once daily so point number 14 that the vet made is you have to stop plucking early so you have to detect it early and you have to stop it early so it doesn't become a behavior because behavior and stress factors are learned it's not like born with them they they are learned over time so you have to detect it early and just stop it right there and then and we did we caught it like really early on once i got him like in the first week he was chewing away off his uh, normal feathers but we caught it and now he's on mood modifiers oh look at how beautiful her wings are guys if you can see look at that look at that they're molting really nicely both of them are they're growing and molting really really nicely number 15 give them calcium 
I give them lots of calcium, lots, 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 lots of calcium. And then also um the last point number uh seventeen is the vet says um keep the room temperature between seventy and eighty. Don't let them get too cold because they're not used to cold. These are these are tropical birds. Okay, so these were the seventeen points that the vet made in that video. If you want to watch again that video, I'm gonna link it below. Just go check it out. Um or after the video at the end roll you can just hit it so um let's open the new toys you want to open new toys come on come on sunshine come on come on my shoulder you too come on star come on my shoulder come on my shoulder good girl good boy stay there okay so let's see what i got them from amazon okay so i think i have to stand up a little bit right here so what did i get them on amazon Guys, if you want to buy Amazon toys, the link is in this description. <gasps> Look! Wow, okay. Let's unpack that. And we got here an extra box. And then we have here, this is trash. Oh, a little toy. Nice. Would you like that? Hey, who wants this? Who wants this? this toy okay guys if you can see this is the little play area that i have made them let's take this out so right here i have a little play area at the window when it's nice and sunny right now it's raining they can um go outside yeah. she really likes her swing Come here. Stop. there you go they have a nice little box here they have toys all over you have to drill here another hole and put this toy in here so that they can play okay so this is what's in the box way look at that another toy guys another toy for you guys okay we got it so there is one toy they can chew on and then let's open this toy they can chew on hey guys okay finally i got it okay so i just unpack all these toys for them <laughs> check this out they got this they got the swing they got this they got this they got this little box here with all these toys so they can have fun playing now right what do you try to do huh <laughs> what are you trying to do? Go in that box. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Mm -hmm. You want to go up there? Anyway, guys, this is my little playground for the Conyers right now, where they have a little bit more privacy. They have a nice window. They can look outside. And they are just really, really happy here because they have a lot of stuff to chew on and they are just happy little birdies. So um, if you like this video, give us a like, comment below. Let me know what you think. And I will see you next episode of Caroline on Petzl. Thank you for watching. Sunshine, say bye.